Now we found this farmhouse in 2013, moved in in 2014, and we knew that the master bedroom on the south side of the home was going to be the first room that we needed to tackle for a full demolition and renovation. The family that had lived here prior had raised their children and moved on, and the house had been left to the hands of time and unfortunately to teenage vandals. They had actually already started the demo for us, so we figured this is where we would start. We had the local electric company come and pay us a visit, and they told us that based on the insulation and the state of the home, it was the second worst home for our factor that they had seen. And so this room was very, very cold. We knew we needed to get insulation in here. So in February of 2014, our granddaughter was visiting and while my husband was at work, she and I went upstairs with some hammers and we figured let's just start demoing this room. You may see that her mask isn't on her nose. These were some posed pictures that we did. So don't worry, we did take proper safety precautions. But the wall that you see behind her here, this is a long closet that took up about a third of the room. And behind that closet, the prior owner had put in some dormers and some windows. And all of that beautiful natural light was hidden behind this wall. So my granddaughter and I, we got to work. And I would say within the first day or two, we had that wall busted down. You can see where there was some storage in the back. You can also see the cloth covered wires from the old wiring. Nothing worked up there except for one overhead light, but we knocked everything down and we started clearing things right away. Just removing this wall really opened up this room and you can see that beautiful window. Now, while we were working, we did have a supervisor. This is Honey. Honey would come upstairs from time to time just to make sure that us girls were doing everything we needed to be doing up there. No time for laziness. We had lots of walls to knock down. As we were knocking down the walls, it became evident that there were no crawl spaces. There was no attic. What you see here is the actual roof and it was just filled with terrible insulation and cobwebs everywhere. It was a really dirty, nasty job. There was so much debris and squirrel nests and plaster and lath that we eventually had to bring the tractor up to the window and open the window and dump bucket after bucket after bucket of debris. So this wall here was just my bane. It took forever to get this wall knocked down. But what you see here is there was a crawl space that is actually crawling up into the area where the pitch is for the original house. On the other side of this wall is a small guest room and that's the roof line for the original structure. Again, here's another look at the ceiling. I really wanted to keep these beams exposed, but unfortunately we weren't able to do that. But more cobwebs and the original light fixture, the only electric that worked in this entire room. Here we have just more pictures of the demo. You can see where all the lath was removed. For each six foot board, I removed no less than 140 nails. Just the nail removal was a very tedious task. While my husband was at work during the day, I would go upstairs and remove the nails and then I would put an X in each section that had had the nails removed on both sides and was ready for some insulation. And so once again, we've got Honey back up supervising to make sure that we were ready to get the insulation installed. We went with a R15 with the paper backing on it. It was easy to install. We just used our staple gun and got it all up into the upper parts of the ceiling and the roof there. And we've got another supervisor there. That's Julian. She's our, another rescue dog that we have. She wanted to make sure that we were doing what we needed to do. So during the day on these lower slant walls, I was able to get some of the insulation put in and get that installed while my husband was at work. And then when he would come home from work, he would do the ceiling. We were able to get some of the insulation up while I was still doing demo. This corner here, just it just took forever for me to get all of that plaster out. 
and really the renovation is starting to roll. Again, there's that beautiful window. Really thankful to the prior owner for getting that dormer put in. Not only does it make the elevation of the house look more beautiful, but just that beautiful natural sunlight is a great addition to this room. Now, once the upper insulation was in, we were able to then start running all of the electrical for the lower parts of the walls for our electrical outlets. And my husband ran wire all the way up from the basement up the inside of the wall and into the room. This proved to be a little bit difficult here because this is the actual exterior of the original home. And those boards that you see there are original to the 1902 build. Each and every board was installed with these square head nails, which was really neat. Now, they're all still there. We didn't pull them out. We did lose a couple, and I kept those, and I have those as keepsakes now. So once all of the wires were pulled all the way around the room and into the electrical outlet boxes, we were able to put the insulation along the lower edge of the walls all the way around the room. Now just outside this room, up in the landing, is some shiplap, and I really wanted that look for this room. But I knew my husband was just not able to vision what it is I wanted. And I knew that as hard as he worked and as tired as he was at the end of the day, I could not ask him to nail all of these individual boards in place. So I opted for some paneling that looked like shiplap and I was playing with some color ideas here and I I convinced him I said let's see if we can use these panels to get the look that I want and you can see it here outside of the room underneath 40 layers of wallpaper you can see that shiplap he hesitated but we bought about four hundred dollars worth of this paneling and it started going up we started with the lower parts of the walls first which are about 32 inches, I think, until you start getting that slant roof. We're worried about the seams, and so we were playing with the idea of using some quarter round, and I had convinced him as, as soon as we get the quarter round up, and as soon as we get some something to cover up those seams and caulk it, you're not even going to be able to tell it's going to look great. I was convinced. He was not. But we kept having more problems nothing is plumb, nothing is square, nothing measured up, and it was really just becoming a headache for him. But as you can see in this picture here, when you look at the piece of paneling that we installed by the door, you can see how it slants down by the floor. If you leveled it up against the door, it was crooked there. If you made it level to the floor, it was crooked at the door. And just when I thought we were making headway, we had to put the brakes on everything because in July of 2015, a full year and a half after we had started this project, I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. What I thought was a gallbladder attack turned out to be something much, much worse. And so all renovation was put on hold and we had to fill our days now with trips to the hospital, trips to the Mayo Clinic, and trips to the chemo center. And not only was this hard on me physically and emotionally, but it was also hard on my husband as well. Uh, both of us ended up in the hospital throughout this time and it was real struggle for us. But as we neared the holidays and I was done with treatment, we knew that we would get the renovation back on track. So what we decided to do is we hired uh, a friend of the family to come in and within just a matter of days, he had the entire room fitted with drywall, had it all cut, put it in place. We went with half inch drywall on the walls and the ceiling. Unfortunately, we had to change all of the depth for all of the electrical boxes. They all had to be taken back out and reset to handle the depth difference from the paneling to the drywall. But it didn't take long before all the drywall was up during the day I would manage to go up and get some drywall compound, fill in the areas where the screws were, and I would sand those down. I was able to get all that taken care of. And then at the end of the workday, my husband would come home and he would tape all of the joints and then he would float out all of the seams. And once all of the seams were done and once everything was sanded down smooth, it was time for texturing. And fortunately, we had this hopper and texture gun from an earlier 
renovation that we had done on a prior home and we were able to utilize that so at the end of the day my husband wouldn't even get out of his uniform he would just go straight upstairs get his joint compound mixed up get it into the hopper and spray the entire room now enough time had gone by that I was starting to feel good I was spending more time getting more actively involved in the renovation and it was time to paint so I chose a lovely buttercream yellow what I really love about this yellow is as the Sun passes from the east to the west and goes over the home on the south side of this home the depths and the hues of that yellow change throughout the day and it's just a really beautiful calming color sometimes it's a very deep gold sometimes it's a light buttercup yellow I really enjoy this paint so I painted the ceilings I painted the walls I got paint on the floor I got paint on the windows and ultimately I got paint all over myself and I'm just a messy painter I can't help it look at that hair so then it was time to install all of our electrical outlets I was really happy to see that we were finally getting to this point we went with some outlets that have four the double gain I highly recommend that if you're going to do a renovation if you've got the extra plugs great if you don't need them you don't need them but when you need them it's nice to have them and here we've got a, a new supervisor crew that came upstairs just to make sure that all of the electrical was done right these are two of our little rescued pups that we have here on the farm but getting back to those those plugs it was a smart idea for us to put the extra plugs in because after my diagnosis I did have to have some medical equipment so it was nice to have those extra plugs once all of the electrical plugs went in it was time to put in the ceiling light fixture I just love this ceiling light fixture that I found I got it on clearance I was able to get two of them so I have two of them upstairs beautiful glass beautiful ironwork and the chandelier effect with those crystals I just really love the way it plays with the light when the light comes in through the window and again here are those floors that I was talking about holes duct tape and if you look closely you can see all of the nails I pulled out thousands of nails out of those boards during demo my son was nice enough to go with me to pick out a section of carpet this room is bigger than what we would need for the standard run which is 12 foot so we ordered a 15 foot run and had that uh, ordered special for us it has the padding attached to it I really recommend getting a piece of carpeting that already has the padding attached to it it just saves you that extra step we didn't put any tack strips down my son just cut it to size they were able to smooth it out and all of the edges were actually tucked underneath the baseboards and yes I painted the baseboards yellow too I wasn't feeling well enough to actually get down on the floor and paint the baseboards white but I did manage to paint the windows white but everything else is that beautiful buttercream yellow and so once that carpet went in it was time for us to move in and here's the completed room I was able to get that beautiful antique secretary it was already painted white I was able to get a beautiful mission style bed that was already painted white as well as some press back chairs again painted in white we weren't able to put the door up yet because of the height difference of the floor with the carpeting so we still need to take off the bottom edge of that door but I put these beautiful curtains up in the in the doorway and it worked just as well and look at the beautiful light that comes in through that window now I have a fern stand in front of the window that beautiful fern as the light filters in through the white curtains I really just love this little piece of paradise on our farm and this was my view every morning when I would look out the window down into the pasture where our animals are but you know what we're not done this room is now being converted into my craft room and we will be converting another room downstairs into a new master bedroom so that we can eventually convert to a single level living because of my health so stay tuned we've got more coming up thank you for joining me here on country mama musings i hope you enjoyed our renovation and i hope you come back for chapter two